Hello everyone, in this video, you will learn how to make the browser to temporary trust website and test application by adding a certificate. That is a CA certificate to Keychain in Mac OS. Have you ever visited a website and saw a message like this? Your connection is not private. Uh oh, that sounds scary. What did I do? What to do? What to do next? Well, this is not really good ideas to say when you see a message like this to proceed further. You really want to stay away. Unless this is a website you already create yourself and you know what's the consequence of it or you just know this is just a testing application. But when you start testing application by yourself, well, most likely, unless you somebody set up the website server for you to be secure, you are like you don't like to have that sort of security already set up. The best idea, of course, is that to actually import verified certificate, or if you don't have the time for that, or just testing right application right now, and use self signed certificate using creating something with OpenSSL. But maybe due to the cluster or the platform you're dealing with, maybe you are don't have the leisure of testing everything out. So what to do next? So there is one solution, and this is this is not definitely recommended for production purpose. So you can download a certificate from the browser and temporarily import the certificate. So you can test the application in in, in a way that is secure, or trust as a secure website. So this is good for two scenario. You're testing application that requires security setup and cannot move forward with the known secure site testing setting. So you are application, you have application that requires security and this is a, and the unit tested, this is a way when you want to use it. Second case is that you need to quickly test the application in secure path because you expect that the application might behave a little, little differently when you test the insecure path. But again, you really don't want to do this when you're implementing production version of your application. So know this, this is not the best way to go about it if you're going on to test for production, but this will be a good way to figure out and testing first time. So I'll break down step-by-step -step guide and it will go from there. There will be just two steps and uh, let's go into that. Step one, download the certificate and drop into your desktop. So basically you, when you go to the browser and work the website that you have had a where URL, where it has your application, click the lock, lock icon on the, it might be unlock icon because if it's not secure, and then just click that. And this is an example of using a Google Chrome browser You'll see an option called certificate. Click that, and then they will bring up the next screen. So when the window pop windows shows up, that shows a certificate. Click the large icon, and then drag and drop to your desktop. You can also drag and drop to your final window, but this is just a, you have to know the place that you down a certificate. And this is example for desktop. So you will see the certificate file like this. So you can remember where it is. So here's the example using the actual screen. Basically, you click the icon and go to certificate. And basically, you drag, click it, and drag and drop to your desktop. And that's it. Step two, import the certificate through keychain access. Keychain Access is the application for the Mac OS. There's really some similar option for Windows or Linux, but this is basically example using the Mac. So let's go forward with that. So the best way to find and launch Keychain Access application is just to press Command button and Space button together, basically combination key. They will bring, bring the spotlight search. So type keychain assess. Keychain space assess. And then your application will show at the top. So just click it. 
So here's example using that. Simply I bring the spotlight window and type a keychain access and then click it and there we bring our application. So when the application is there, you want to go to the system and then because there are different options there, just click system. And then the only thing you have to left to do is click files on the top window and import items. It will bring up and then select the, the download certificate in your desktop or your other final window. This requires to um, the root access. So if you're not a root user, user, you cannot do this. Again, you only the, the pseudo user can do it. But once you've done that, when you visit the website again, you will see that the site is not secure, at least temporarily. So that's it. That was a pretty simple tutorial, right? short and concise but i hope you find this tutorial useful and then be sure to subscribe to my youtube channel to see other videos related to technology or cloud and many other things coming later so be sure to subscribe and thank you again and see you next time